Welcome friends, uh, this is an experiment I have made. I have taken this aluminium foil and make this as a small small balls and I poured into the glass. So and I have put two spoons, I have filled the glass, it is very laborious job, you can find. Now when you are making the this foil must you remember it should be very tight, you must press it very tightly and the size must not be very big. It should be a medium or very small size. As small it will be preferred but to fill the glass with very small ball is very laborious. So I have made some little big ball also and some small ball also. Now I have made a circuit also. So which is a very simple electrical circuit. I have two battery and a bulb and two open wire and if I connect this wire the bulb is glowing. So this is a very simple open circuit. Now if you see that I have used two fork from my kitchen as a connector and you can see the forks are on the su surface of the glass. So two forks are not touching each other. It is the aluminium foil balls which is in between them. So we know that aluminium is a good conductor of electricity but you can see that while it is connected the bulb is not glowing. Now what happened if I put a lighter in it, you can see the bulb is immediately start glowing and if I tick with the lighter the bulb is not there. Again you can see that when I pick the lighter over there the bulb is glowing and when the, I tick it it is gone. So you can see what is the relation of the bulb to glow and the lighter? If I press it tightly, you can see the bulb is glowing, but if I tick, the bulb is gone. Now when I am doing the lighter, the bulb is on. Again, I am ticking, the bulb is gone. So, not only this thing, I have also done this experiment with this lighter. And now I am not using the flame, I have just taken out the lighter and you can see when I am holding this tight, there is a tiny spark. Can you see the spark? Okay. Now you can see the spark at the. So this is actually a piezoelectric lighter and it gives a spark of around 700 volt. You can find the tiny spark at the tip. There is spark but it is not at the tip. It is difficult for me to adjust in my single hand. Ah, so you can find the spark. Now what happened if I hold this over this bulb. You can see again the bulb is glowing. See, and when I am ticking, it is gone. So what is the reason? So actually this is called coherer circuit. These are the particle behaves as a coherer and this is producing the electromagnetic wave. This lighter and this lighter are same thing, only I have taken out the nozzle and the gas part. I only use the spark. So this is used as electromagnetic wave detector. So <clears throat> what happens is particles have a property when the electromagnetic wave passes through it, it makes them in some orientation and that allow the flow of current. And when I am taking the orientation of the particles or the molecules is disturbed. So no further it is conducting the current. Not only these big balls, I have made the same thing with the small aluminium balls you can find and make this thing with small aluminium foil every time you start the experiment you have to adjust because this is very sensitive circuit uh, first you have to adjust it to its uh, basic starting point the thing you can press and see it is glowing and tick it is gone now you can allow the spark so when you give the spark it will start working. Let me use my electromagnetic wave directly. So, when I am holding this, you can find it is glowing. And when I tick this table, 
so disturb the circuit the molecular orientation gone it is not no more glow again i give the electromagnetic wave actually this is producing the electromagnetic wave because these are the two poles you can find and again when i am checking and disturbing the orientation there is no more current is going so again i am producing the electromagnetic wave and this tiny aluminium balls inside it again get oriented and it start conducting the current through it and when i am taking this it is no more glowing so we have done with a fairly big size balls and we have done the fairly small size aluminium ball now what happens we reduce the size further so let's see what will happen if you reduce the size further here a glass tube is there and i have fitted with two screw and what i have done i have put some iron filings inside it so i open the screw put the iron filing i adjust the screw to the size so it just get full tight this is the open thing but i'll make afterward and i have already made another one here is that thing so you can see there are two screw and in between that the dark black part is nothing but the iron filings so i have taken some iron filings in between them and i am again connecting with my circuit you can find this iron filings are filled inside the glass tube and uh, we are going to use this uh, electromagnetic wave so this is not much sensitive let me use directly the spark so this actually producing spark and when you are doing you have to adjust it so first you make sure the bulb is glowing and then you slowly you can turn it up by ticking if it is not turning just lose it little because when it is tight very tight it does not allow the current to flow ha so now i think it will work so after adjustment you are ready for the experiment and you can find that again the same thing happened so it's glowed and gone that means i have to little bit adjust again and again ticking it is gone so now again i am taking the electromagnetic wave part very close to it and you can see it is glowing again i click it gone again i am taking the thing very close it is glowing so basically when i press this lighter it has small part which is called piezoelectric crystals and then with the help of this piezoelectric crystals it produces the current which is around 700 volts inside this there is a crystals called piezoelectric crystals and it produces a current which is around 700 volts and that causes the spark now i am trying you to show the spark so for that purpose i am directly connecting the two terminals of this so i hope you will able to see the spark through it uh, this is the blank one what i am showing this the air gap is there a sufficient air gap i think you will able to see the spark can you see the spark okay the bulb is good start glowing can you see the spark see there is a spark is going between the two poles that means it is producing the current and which is around 700 volts or more 700 to 900 volts you can see the spark and when it is passing through this this coherer circuit get oriented due to this electromagnetic wave and this iron filing which is in between become connected to each other i don't know it is not given in the properly that is there any bond is making it is maybe temporary bond or molecules are just connected to each other and thus make the circuit complete it becomes very much conductor and it make the circuit complete now when i tap the table so this disturb the molecules this disturb the molecules and it again uh, become non conductor though it is iron filings and again when i am tapping this so you have to be very little adjustment should be there because the gap is more then it will not glow and you need gap is small you can find it is working whenever the spark is there it is detecting the spark so this i find this is very interesting and you can make this with very simple arrangement because this is the aluminium foil which is easily available in your home and uh, we have used that fork and this type of lighters and now it is very easily available so by combining this thing 
we can make a very fabulous and interesting experiment and also the best part of this this can detect the electromagnetic wave so actually this circuit is itself a detector and it detects electromagnetic wave so we can use it near the meter box or somewhere and it can be whenever the spark or something is there it can detect it but the basic problem with this because whenever it becomes conductor to make it non-conductor you have to tap it I have read in uh, somewhere that initially this was designed to send the telegraph signal but the basic problem that whenever it is becoming conductor you need the tapping to make it non-conductor so due to that disadvantage the this coherer research does not go further but this is a very nice and exciting experiment for me i feel you have enjoyed this experiment thank you